Hey guys, hope you're having a great day and that your January is going wonderfully so far. Um, today is something that has been on my mind. Um, I watched a TED talk by a lady named Stacy Sims a while back and um, it was really fascinating and I will link it in the description box below. But I did a little more research on the woman and she is a PhD in physiology and nutrition as it specifically applies to women. And she also is an athlete. And um, I found out that she had written a book. This is the book. Got it from the library. And um, I'm so thankful for this woman because so many times in the fitness industry, women are just kind of treated like smaller versions of men. But, I mean, we have some really fundamental differences, namely that we can bear children and we menstruate every month and our hormones change significantly every month and over time. <laughs> Men's hormones change too, I guess, over time, but not in the same way that ours do. Anyway, I really love this book because she kind of goes through each phase of life, like uh, best practices for exercising when you're pregnant, um, for when you're going through menopause, um, how to prevent muscle loss, and how to keep your bones strong. And she's just really respectful of all eating styles. I always love when people include uh, plant-based eaters in their eating recommendations. Um, anyway, it was just really fascinating. And I just, I noticed in myself, like there were times when like my exercises that used to seem easy just seemed harder. And so it was so nice to hear about that that is normal <laughs> and real and not just in my head. And things that I can do to kind of um, help my hormones to cycle a little more healthily, how to kind of get the best out of my workouts, and then how to just pay attention to my body. And if I'm not feeling it, it's okay to just like take a break and give it a rest and to listen to my body. Because women, we like to push through a lot in our training and can overtrain because we're not listening to our bodies because we're like sticking to our schedule, you know? <laughs> anyway, not that I'm an athlete by any means, but I am someone who is interested in taking care of my body and respecting my body. And I want to be like, you know, the fun, healthy grandma that has energy to play with her grandkids. <laughs> so, um... Do you know of any other like women researchers out there who specialize in this? Because I think it'd be so interesting to, it was just really fun to read her recommendations and it felt so refreshing to hear it from a female perspective. And I also really, really rely on listening to the researchers themselves because I think we all know in today's world, you can find a study that supports anything you want it to. And it's harder to dig deeper and see, you know, who funded the study, who was in the study, how was it organized, how was it based, how was it done. And I feel like when I hear straight from the researchers themselves, I can get that information straight from them. And it just kind of helps me um, get a better idea of, I don't know, Kind of people they are and the kind of and the kind of practices that they did in their research and I just I was really impressed with her so anyway let me know if you have any other like inspiring books that were helpful it just it made me think like if I had daughters which I do not and they were competing athletically I would want them to read this book and I would want their coaches to read this book because it would be really frustrating as a female athlete to not understand why there are certain times of the month that it's just going to be harder to compete. And it's, it has nothing to do with like your training. It just has to do with hormones. Anyway, it was fascinating. So highly recommend it and have a great week.